The C12 Pro from Thermalright comes in gray, black, and white, but is the C12 Pro any good? Spoiler alert, it is. What's up everyone, Eric here and welcome to Hardware for Gamers. For those of you new to the channel, I release new videos every week on PC cases, CPU coolers, and PC case fans. So if you end up liking this video, can you please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel? It does help out a lot. And as always, there will be timestamps down in the description, so you can jump to whatever interests you. But again, as always, I recommend you watch the whole review. Before I get into the review, I just want to have full disclosure. Thermalright did send me this fan as well as some other fans and CPU coolers so that I can review them. But as always, all the opinions expressed in this video are mine. I'm going to start off with a quick overview of the C series. There are three models of 120 millimeter fans in the C series. There is the C12, which has an RPM of 1500. There is the C12 Pro, which has an RPM of 1850 and the C12015, which is a slim 15 millimeter fan with an RPM of 1500. Each model has multiple color options. There is also the RGB and ARGB options as well. The RGB version uses the gray frame with a semi-transparent blade, while the ARGB fan uses either the white or the gray fan, so there are options while still using a semi-transparent blade. Now the fan I tested is the TLC12 Pro G because it's the gray version. Again, it has an RPM of 1850. It has a nine blade design. The bearing is a fluid dynamic bearing. It has a four pin PWM connector. It has a six year manufacturer's warranty, which is very nice. There are the three color options, and I would like to add the Pro does not have the RGB or ARGB options, and the MSRP is 20 USD. Now, before getting to the results of my testing, I wanted to be very clear. All this testing is based off of a sample size of one, so this may not be the exact performance you'll get, but it should be relatively close. Starting with the PWM range testing, at 100% PWM, this C12 Pro has an RPM of 1960. And when I drop the PWM down to 0%, this C12 Pro has an RPM of only 370. So this fan does have a very good RPM range. Okay, moving on to the standardized testing. If you have any questions on how I test the fans, please check out my fan testing methodology video. I'll have a card along the top and I'll also have it linked down in the description. And that should answer most of your questions. Starting with the DBA and RPM testing, at 4 volts the C12 Pro had a DBA of 32.1 and an RPM of 775. At 6 volts it had a sound level of 32.4 and an RPM of 1130. At 8 volts the DBA went up to 34.6 and had an RPM of 1430. At 10 volts the sound level was at 37.9 DBA and the RPM was 1715. And finally, at 12 volts, the DBA went up to 42.3 dBA with an RPM of 1940. Now the sound recordings at each of those voltages. Now onto the airflow testing. I left the DBA numbers up on the chart for your reference. At 4 volts, with no obstructions, it had an FPM of 185. With the meshed panel, it had an FPM of 155. And with the covered panel, it had an FPM of only 40. Jumping up to 12 volts to save some time here. With no obstructions, it had an FPM of 580. With the mesh panel, it had an FPM of 535, and with the covered panel, it had an FPM of 225. Moving on to the CPU cooling performance, at 4 volts, the average CPU temperature was at 82.8C, at 6 volts, it was at 76.9C, at 8 volts, it was at 75.2C, at 10 volts, it was at 74.1C, 
at 12 volts, the average CPU temperature was 73.4 C. Okay, I'll be comparing the Thermalrite C12 Pro to the Arctic P12 PWM PST, the up here NT12044, and the Pure Wings 2 high speed. Now, when comparing the C12 Pro to these other fans on this DBA chart, it has a pretty similar DBA to the up here and be quiet fans. But as you can see, the Arctic P12 is a fair bit quieter. Now for the airflow, with no obstructions, the C12 Pro moves a good amount of air at all voltages even beating the up here fan at 12 volts. Now when comparing these fans in the mesh panel testing, things don't really change too much, but the C12 Pro is able to maintain more of its airflow than these other fans. In the covered panel testing, things do change quite a bit. There is a large FPM drop across all the fans. The C12 Pro manages to close the gap between it and the up here fan even more. Moving on to the CPU cooling test, at 8, 10, and 12 volts, all the fans perform well, which is to be expected. Okay, moving on to the 34 dBA testing. So having all the fans noise equalized to 34 dBA, or 12 volts if the fan doesn't make it to 34 dBA. With no obstructions, the C12 Pro tops the chart with an FPM of 385. With a mesh panel and noise equalized to 34 dBA, the C12 Pro is again topping the chart, this time tying the P12 with an FPM of 340. And finally, with the covered panel, the C12 Pro is on the top end of the chart with an FPM of 140, which has it tying the up here NT12044. So what do I think of the Thermalrite C12 Pro? It's a really good, well-priced fan with a six-year warranty. In my testing, it performed very well in both the voltage equalized and the noise equalized testing. The optimal RPM is around 1000 to 1700 RPM, a little higher than 1700 RPM. It gets a lot louder and it kind of starts dying off below 1000 RPM. So that 1000 to 1700 RPM, it is very good at in the performance to noise. The C12 Pro really could go anywhere. It has both the airflow and the static pressure to do whatever you need it to do. But the best place for it would probably be for a CPU cooler slash radiator. So it is nice that Thermalrite does offer different colors. So that gives you the option if you want to, you can color match it to your system. Now, as I wrote the script, there is no RGB or ARGB option for the Pro model, which is a little sad and confusing that they don't actually have an ARGB option of the Pro. They do have just the C12, but not the Pro, which is what I'm just trying to clarify here. So to finish this all off, the C12 Pro is a really good fan with a good warranty. The C12 Pro closely matches the up here NT12044 in the performance, but unlike the up here fan, the C12 Pro actually has a warranty and a six year warranty. So that's like a really nice warranty. And in all honesty and fairness, based off the fans I've tested so far, the best buys are the C12 Pro and the non-Pro version, as well as the Arctic F and P series fans. Like these fans are really good and are definitely on the short list of fans to get. Well, that's all I got for this one. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still watching, maybe hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I drop a new video. Please follow me on Twitter at HFG underscore YT. Uh, I also have the HFG Discord server. The link is down in the description. I post all the charts that I have for my fans, for the CPU coolers, for the cases. They're all up on the HFG Discord server. Now you will need to be a member to see them, but all you have to do to become a member is agree to the server rules. It is that simple. Uh, you might want to check out these videos here. They should be along the same lines of what you just watched. And as always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.